So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Let us now discuss how to generate patterns in a sequence. Let us identify the next three terms in the given sequence. So first we need to identify what could be the pattern of the sequence. The sequence that is 2, 5, 8, 11. What could be the pattern to make it 5, to make it 8, to make it 11? So it means the number to be added that is equal to 3. So 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 3, that is 11. And what is the next three terms after 11? So it means we need to add 3. 11 plus 3, that is 14. 14 plus 3, that is 17. 17 plus 3, the answer is 20. How about number 2? The given sequence that is a comma c comma e and then g so it means a b hindi sinulat c d hindi sinulat e f hindi sinulat g so that could be the pattern so it means after g h hindi isusulat i j hindi susulat k so i k and then m next number three l m n o so tuloy tuloy lang so it means the next three terms after L, M, N, O, that is P, Q, and then R. Fourth example of the sequence, 5, 10, 15, 20. So it means the number to be added, that is 5. 5 plus 5, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. Plus 5, 20. Plus 5, 25. Plus 5, 30. Plus 5, 35. Last example, that is 1, 2, 4, and 7. So let us see what could be the add number to be added to make it 2, 4, and 7. So 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 1 cannot be, so it means 2 plus 2, 4. So the number to be added here is 1, while here is 2. So it means this one is 3. 4 plus 3, 7. After 7, we need to add 4. So 7 plus 4, that is 11. 11. So, 4 yung ina dito. So, dito naman 5. 11 plus 5, that is 16. Kung 5 yung ina dito, that is 6. 16 plus 6, that is equal to 22. So, the next 3 terms after 7, that is 11, 16, and 22. So, let us identify what could be the meaning of term. Term that is each number in a sequence so this example of the sequence that is 2 5 8 11 and 14 so 2 that could be the first term 5 second term 8 third term 11 fourth term 14 that is fifth term so term that is each number in a sequence Let us find the first five terms of the sequence whose general term by a sub n is equal to the quantity n minus 2 square. So it means we need to identify the first term. To get the first term, we need to replace the value of n. This one is n by 1. So 1 minus 2 subtract, copy the sign of the larger number of negative 2. So negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1, that is positive 1. Second term. So we need to replace the value of n by 2. So 2 minus 2, that is 0. 0 squared, that is 0. Third term, replace the value of n by 3. So 3 minus 2, that is 1. 1 squared, so that is equal to 1. Fourth term, we need to replace the value of n by 4. 4 minus 2, that is 2. 2 squared, the answer is 4. Fifth term, so we need to replace the value of n by 5. So 5 minus 2 squared. So 5 minus 2, that is 3. 3 squared, that is equal to 9. 
How about in example number 2? We need also to find the first 5 terms. But then, the given general term that is a sub n is equal to 3 plus n. So, let us replace the value of n first by 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, we need to get the first term. So, the first term, we need to replace n by 1. So, 3 plus 1, that is 4. Replace n by 2, 3 plus 2, 5. Replace n by 3, 3 plus 3, that is 6. If you observe, the number to be added or the pattern to get 5, that is 1. To get 6, that is 1. So, 4, 5, 6. So, it means after 6, without solving, the next two term, that is 7. So, the next, after 7, that is 8. If we try to solve, 3 plus 4 is 7. 3 plus 5, that is 8. How about number 3? Let us find the first four terms of the sequence whose general term by a sub n is equal to 3n minus 1. So, it means we need to replace the value of n by 1. So, let us solve. a sub n is equal to 3 times 1 minus 1. 3 times 1, that is 3 minus 1. So, 3 minus 1. So, the a sub n, that is equal to 2. So, the first term, that is 2. Next, how about the second term? We need to replace the value of n by 2. So it means 3 times 2 minus 1. So 3 times 2, that is 6, copy, negative 1. 6 minus 1, subtract. So it means the second term, that is equal to 5. So susulat so natin dito. Next, third term. So the third term, we need to replace the value of n by 3. So, it means 3 times 3 minus 1. 3 times 3, that is equal to 9. So copy, negative 1. 9 minus 1, so it means the third term, that is equal to 8. Next, how about the fourth term? So, we need to replace the value of n by 4. So, it means 3 times 4 minus 1. 3 times 4, that is 12. Copy, negative 1. Let us subtract. 12 minus 1, so it means the a sub 4 or the 4th term that is equal to 11. So it means the first 4 terms of this sequence that is 2, 5, 8, and then 11. If we try to get what could be the pattern from 5, 8, and 11, so it means the number to be added that is 3. 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 3, that is 11. How about finite sequence? Finite sequence, it is a list or a string of discrete objects, usually numbers. So it means list of numbers that can be paired of one-to-one -one with the set of positive integers. So that is 1, 2, 3, n. So we have the first term, we have the last term. So the finite sequence that is our sequence that ends. So, may katapusan. So, may, may umpisa, may katapusan. So, we have the first term and we also have the number of terms and last term. Let us see in the different example of the finite sequence. Let us identify the first term, the last term, and then the number of terms. The given sequence that is 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. So, first term, yun yung umpisa, so that could be 1. Last term, yun nasa dulo, that is 5. The number of terms we need to count, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So the number of terms, that is 5. Second example, that is 12, 15, 18, and 21. The first term, 12. The last term, that is 21. And then we need to count 1, 2, 3, 4. So the number of terms, 4. Next, 38, 36, 34, 32, and 30. The first term, that is 38. The last term, that is 30. And then the number of terms, that is 5. So how about the infinite sequence? Infinite sequence, it is a list or string of discrete objects, usually numbers, that can be paired off one-to-one -one with the set of positive integers. 1, 2, 3, comma, the three dots, that is the ellipses. So it means 
or sequence that keep on going and going. So, it means pwedeng yung pinakakanan, yung last term natin, that is keep on going and going. Our first term, pwede rin naman may pagkakataon that is keep on going and going. So, the three dots, that is represented by the ellipses. So, let us see in the following example, the infinite sequence. So, an example of the infinite sequence, 1, 2, 3, 4. But then, three dots is represented as ellipses. So, our first term, we have 1. But then, we have no last term. So, the three dots that is represented as ellipses. So, this three dots, the last term, that is infinite. So, the number of terms cannot be distinguished that it is infinite. Next, three dots, that is ellipses, 15, 18, and 21. So, our first term, that is infinite. Our last term, that is 21. And the number of terms cannot be distinguished, so that is infinite. Third example, 38, 36, 34, 32, and then the three dots, that is the ellipses. So it means the first term, that is 38. The last term, that is infinite. And then the number of terms, that is infinite. So this example, that is infinite sequence. Let us find now the next four terms of each sequence given the functional relation. So in example number one, let us write the first four terms of the sequence. So we need to replace that with 1, 2, 3, and 4. The given S of n is equal to n minus 7. So let us replace the value of n by 1, by 2, by 3, by 4. So it means S of 1 is equal to 1 minus 7. So it means 1 minus 7, subtract, that is negative 6. Second one, we need to replace the value of n by 2. So it means s of 2 is equal to 2 minus 7. So 2 minus 7, let us subtract, that is negative 5. Third, we need to replace n by 3. So s of 3 is equal to 3 minus 7. So 3 minus 7, subtract, that is negative 4. Replace n by 4, so it means s of 4 is equal to 4 minus 7, and 4 minus 7, that is equal to negative 3. And the first four terms of the sequence of s of n is equal to n minus 7, that is negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, and negative 3. How about number 2? Let us see what could be the first four terms of the sequence s of n is equal to 5 minus n. Let us replace the value of n by 1, 2, 3, and 4. So it means s of 1 is equal to 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1, that is equal to 4. Replace n by 2. So s of 2 is equal to 5 minus 2. So 5 minus 2, that is equal to 3. Third one, we need to replace the value of n by 3. So, S of 3 is equal to 5 minus 3. And 5 minus 3, that is equal to 2. Next, we need to replace the value of N by 4. So, S of 4 is equal to 5 minus 4. 5 minus 4, that is equal to 1. So, the first four terms of this given sequence, that is 4, 3, 2, and then 1. How about number 3? Let us find the first four terms of the sequence s of n is equal to 2n plus 3. So the functional relation that is s of n is equal to 2n plus 3. Let us replace the value of n by 1, 2, 3, and then 4. So s of 1 is equal to 2 times 1 plus 3. So 2 times 1, that is 2, plus 3. 2 plus 3, the answer is 5. Second, S of 2 is equal to 2 times 2 plus 3. So 2 times 2, that is 4, copy 3. 4 plus 3, that is equal to 7. Third, S of 3 is equal to 2 times 3 plus 3. 2 times 3, that is equal to 6 plus 3. 6 plus 3, the answer is equal to 9. 
How about if the value of n that is equal to 4? So s of 4 is equal to 2 times 4 plus 3. 2 times 4, that is 8, plus 3, the answer is 11. So what could be the first four terms of the sequence of the functional relation s of n is equal to 2n plus 3? So the sequence that is 5, 7, 9, and 11. How about number 4? Let us find the first four terms of the sequence s of n is equal to 3n minus 7. Let us replace the value of n by 1, 2, 3, and 4. So s of 1 is equal to 3 times 1 minus 7. 3 times 1, that is 3 minus 7. Subtract, that is negative 4. Replace n by 2. So s of 2 is equal to 3 times 2 minus 7. 3 times 2, that is 6 minus 7. Subtract, so that is negative 1. Replace n by 3. So s of 3 is equal to 3 times 3 minus 7. 3 times 3, that is 9 minus 7. Subtract, that is positive 2. Replace n by 4. So 3 times 4 minus 7. 3 times 4, that is 12 minus 7, that is equal to 5. So the first four terms of the sequence of the functional relation s of n is equal to 3n minus 7. The sequence uh, is negative 4 negative 1, positive 2, and positive 5. Enjoy learning mathematics! I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much!